Um, I, so you uh, probably see I have a new picture up because I finished the last one. This has been very productive. I'm finishing up things. And like I said, I'm trying to get things finished. I'm going to try to get this big light right here so I move this over so you guys can see. We're actually going to be putting the... Um, we're going to put the size on here today. So we finished up the young lady. I'm going to put this in so that we can, um, I try to do whenever I'm on here with you guys. And I'm probably not going to be here long because we have to go live on our other platform as well. And so there we go. I'm going to put this right here. Oh, that didn't work. Nice. So. <laughs> so, I know this thing is blinding right here. Oh, that's why. I, hold on. I forgot to turn my lights on in the studio today. The lights in the studio are off. Sorry about that. So, let's turn some lights on in the studio. I've been sitting in the studio with my lights off, my, all my lights off. So, thanks guys for tuning in. We're going to actually work on a new piece today. I'm going to take this little thing right here spin it around and I will put Instagram on this. So thanks for tuning in. We're going to actually be working on here. I'm going to set this up here. That's our Instagram feed right there. <laughs> so I still look kind of dark, don't I? I feel like I'm in a dark vortex, even though all my lights in the studio are on. So I'll turn this little light back on and hopefully it won't be too hot on me. But um, yeah, I'm having some weird lighting issues. So, so thanks guys for tuning in. So we're going to, hey Philip, my son's on Instagram. Um, so we're going to actually work on some new things. So you can see I have a new painting up. Hold on, I'll grab the other one. She is all done and she is finished. So give me one second and I will show you her and I'll be posting the video of this one. So this is the one. We just finished. Ta-da! You see that? Isn't she beautiful? So you can see the white gold. You can see the white gold on her. And then I did a variegated metal, and that's more like the blue variegated metal, which is really, really nice. I love the blue variegated metal. So she's all done, so I packed her away. And I'll be posting some other things about um, these particular pieces that I'm doing. So this one right here is another piece that I hadn't finished. Um, and so I'm going to be working on that. Hey, how's it going? So this is one that I hadn't finished right here. Let me turn everybody to that. So this is one that I hadn't finished and I've been wanting to get to. So I'm going to actually get to this one as well, <laughs> as well. But today we're actually going to put the, do the gilding on this bigger piece. Hold on. <laughs> one of the legs on this has decided to go down. There we go. It just it just started like going down. So we're gonna actually put the size on here today. We're gonna do the size for this piece. So I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can get a better view of it. So we're gonna put the size so that we can gild it. We're gonna put the size on it so we can gild it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so let me get that. So I have the size and remember, remember what I told you guys about the size. It is very, very sticky, and I have my little bottle here, and this size, I've had this size for a number of years. Let me show you. Oh, no, not this one. Not this one. Hold on. So I've had this size for a number of years. Look at that. You can see how gooky that looks, right? That looks pretty gooky. So we're going to get in there and remember one of the things that I said I didn't want to do, I didn't want to get size on the color. I didn't want to get any size on the color. So I'm going to be working very hard not to get size on the color and only get it around the fabric. So that's what I'm looking to do. And remember what I did to, can you guys see, I don't know if you guys can see. I am going to re-angle this one because I think I'm all in front of you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get you re-angled. 
I know I have to move chairs and everything. <laughs> I have chairs and chairs and chairs and all kinds of things that are in the way of um, in the way of progress. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's all in the way of progress. So there we go. So I'm hoping you guys can get a better angle from here to see what I'm doing there. So and that I'm not like all in your way. So and there i think you guys can see a little better so what i'm trying to do is just stay on the fabric and remember what i do with the fabric to keep the fabric um to keep from getting um on the fabric uh so that it wouldn't be too absorbent into the fabric i use the gack as opposed to using a base coat instead of using a base coat i use the gack to seal the fabric to get rid of some of that absorbency in the in the in this so now i'm just going to go around the and just hit the spots that i know i want to gild and i'm starting at the very top and i think it's hard for this one so i'm going to pull that back a little bit to see the top part so i'm starting at the very top and going around it and it's going to take me a minute to cover this whole entire piece because I don't want to get rid of the texture of it at all. And I don't want to, um, I definitely don't want to get into the paint areas. I don't want to get into the paint area. So I'm going to be very, very careful how I work. Very, very careful how I work. So and then I'll be, like I said, I'll be posting videos. So definitely look for the videos that I'll be posting. Um, these right here will probably more than likely be time lapse because this is a, <laughs> this is a lot. And I know you don't want to see, see me painting each and every inch of this. Um, so this will more than likely be time lapse. This will be time lapse. Um, because I'm pretty sure you're like, hmm, like seeing you work, Louise, but I don't know if I want to see you um, put size on every inch of that particular piece. I know I would be that way. I'm like, hmm, I like to see Louise work, but don't know if I want to see her size every little nook and cranny of that particular piece. So I do understand if you don't want to watch me do this entire process um but like i said i will be posting a time lapse video of this process so you don't have to sit through it but i wanted to make sure i went on today because i hadn't gone on today and i wanted to make sure i did because i want to try to make sure i go on at least once every day um on my main page but i'll be back on today because uh, you can see we have uh, several things on the board, but I'm also going to be doing some other stuff. I started making some masks out of uh, leather. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to be walking you guys through that process as well, because I'm going to be adding these to my wood piece. Uh, not that first wood piece you saw, but it'll be added to another wood piece that I'm doing. So um, just bear that in mind that I'll be adding the leather mass to the wood piece that you guys saw. So um, this has been, this whole creative quarantine has been really, really um, fun because it's giving me opportunities to do and expand and explore a lot of things that I already had in my studio and a lot of things that I was already doing, but also looking at other things that I wasn't doing because um, I do have a lot of leather because I used to uh, make purses. And then, um, you know, as an artist, you do a lot of other things. And then all of a sudden you end up with all of this raw material that you haven't used. And so I'm actually getting an opportunity to use some of the raw material that I had around the studio for other things, which is exciting for me. So, um, and you guys know I'm always having to bounce to the next thing. 
but I wanted to come on live and just kind of go through some of the things that I was doing and show you guys um, how long this is going. This is going to take me um, probably several days to do. Hey, it's probably going to take me several days to do this uh, because I want to get, I have to get every single area covered with the size before I can gild it. And I don't want to touch any of the color. I don't want to touch any of the color at all. And yeah, I probably, you know, if, um, in hindsight, I'm thinking, well, what if I had have done the gilding first? <laughs> I should have gilded it before I put the colors in. But, you know, the mind works the way the mind works. So my mind didn't work that way. My mind said, do this first, put the colors in first, and then go back and gild it. So that's the mind does however it works, however it wants to work. So that's how my mind worked. And that's why it's this way. That's why I'm doing it this way. And I'm okay. But the fun part is, is this is going to have some beautiful texture on it. And so I'm really looking forward to that. I can already feel the tackiness in it. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is gilding it in sections as opposed to gilding it all in one piece because um, of the way the tackiness works. So we're going to get this all laid down up here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss some sections because all of this looks alike. And so I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss something. I'm going to miss something. So... But that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. So I'm going to, oh, see, I got some in that blue, which means that that blue is going to have to be redone once I'm done um, because I got some of the size in that blue. And it's going to make the, the metal leaf is going to go into that blue. So there we go. And this one, I'm hoping that I have enough of the 23 karat gold because this is going to have, this is actually going to get the 23 karat gold around her entire crown here, her entire, because it's going to be like a halo. So I'm going to stop right there um, and then I'll work on some more of this later. But yeah, this is going to take a while to finish up. And we're going to actually go over because I got to sign in to Creative Quarantine. Yes, we have to sign in to Creative Quarantine because that's about to go on. Starts at two. So let's turn over this way. I'm going to turn you guys over this way. So you can meet me over at my Creative Quarantine desk. Come on. You guys can come over to my Creative Quarantine desk over here so this is where i will be live in a minute with creative quarantine hopefully i don't knock somebody over or knock something over and that's the beauty of having all of these i have all of these tiny little devices running around my studio i'm going to tilt you down a little bit and turn you a little bit so yeah i have a ton of little devices all over my studio i'm going to put this little hat on because as you can see I am in pajamas today. This is pajama. This is pajama day. Pajama day. It's my pajama day. So in there. So we'll look like that. It's Saturday. It's Saturday, and I'm not doing anything extra with myself. So just know it's Saturday, and I'm okay. I'm okay with Saturday. So. I hope you're okay with Saturday because this is what I'm looking like today. It's my Saturday. Go, go Rams, great choice. What is that? So let's go over to where our creative quarantine site is. And boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I'm coming in. It's like one minute to. <laughs> one minute to. Poncho's probably like, where is my co host? Boo Here she goes. And ready to go.
creative quarantine. So here we are in creative quarantine, and we are about to go live. We're going live, people. We're about to go live. So head on over to the channel. Let me say, oh, let me put you guys, let me send you guys the link, because I always forget. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do our creative quarantine and send you the link. Save. Yeah. Hmm. So last time, we're still up and running. I have a phone call. It's interrupting our live here. Hold on. Hey. Hello? Hello? interrupted all right so i'm going to post um the link on here and over here we're going to go ahead and get signed out um we're going to go ahead and get signed out i'm going to put you guys right here and we're going to go ahead and get signed out on my other page because you guys know it's just this part is just like the part where we're just Signing in and going to be able to say, hey, everybody, how's it going? I know. There. So we're going to get signed out. Thanks, guys, for hanging in there with me on Facebook. And so I'm going to go ahead and sign out of my Facebook one of mine. So, oops, sorry. You can see my messiness. So thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Um, I'll be on a little later and we're going to work on that new piece that I was showing you, the one right there. We're going to work a little bit on that and then we're going to finish up putting some metal, um, the size on this other piece. So thanks a lot for hanging out and I will see you guys 